Welcome to the Lab Preschool Online Experience. My name is Holly and I'm super excited you're here today. We are in a theme right now called Changing Gears. And this theme is all about how in movies, robots can change and transform into all these cool things. Well, when Jesus is a part of our life, it changes us too. And that's pretty exciting. Now we have a story today that is all about this man that had a huge change in his life because of Jesus. But before we hear it, I thought we should play a game. Do you guys like games? Awesome. Okay, this game is called I Spy. Have any of you played it before? Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen and then I'm gonna say, I spy and I'm gonna say something and you have to spy that thing on the picture. Are you ready? All right, picture number one. I spy something green. Time's up. Did you guys find it? Good job. The answer was the pear. Nice work, friends. All right, are you ready for the second one? Okay, I spy popcorn. Time's up. Were you guys able to find it? Nice, there it was, right in the middle. All right, the last one, you ready? I spy something pink. Time's up. Did you guys find it? Oh, that was a tricky one because there were three things that were pink. Good job. Thanks for playing along with me, friends. I love that we can use our eyes to spy all kinds of things like pretty flowers in the springtime or really colorful leaves in the fall. You know what would be sad? If our eyes couldn't spy at all. Do you know what? That happens for some people. They have eyes, but their eyes don't really work the way they're supposed to, and they can't see things. Well, our story today is about a man and his eyes couldn't spy at all. He could only see darkness. Wouldn't that be super hard? Yeah, but you know what happened? He met Jesus and something changed. We're gonna go watch his story together and see what happened in his life after he met Jesus. Are you ready? Let's go check it out together. Check out my newest toy creation. These are special goggles that change what I see. See these gears here on the side? All I have to do is give it a turn. And the robotics inside these goggles make me see things differently. Isn't that robotastic? Want to have a look? So I'm looking around and I see my room. But then I turn the gears and... Let's see what happens when I turn the gears again. Whoa! I'm in outer space! Let's give it one more turn. Oh, yes! I'm at the beach! These are amazing! Okay, friends, we're just using our imaginations. But isn't it cool to imagine a pair of goggles that can change the way we see things? Pally, time to clean your room. Oh, man. I don't want to clean my room. I mean, what is the point? It's just going to get messy again. Hey! What if I had a robot helper who would clean up my toys for me? That would be awesome! I'm going to imagine my super cool cleaning robot some more while we check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of John, chapter 9. One day, Jesus and his friends came upon a man who could not see. He was blind. Jesus' friends thought that the man or someone in his life must have done something wrong for this to happen. Jesus helped them see that this wasn't true. Jesus took dirt from the ground, 
and spit from his mouth and made mud. He took the mud and put it on the man's eyes. It seemed kind of gross and it probably wouldn't have worked if we did it, but it worked because he was Jesus. When the man washed the mud away, he could see. The day that this happened was called the Sabbath. And it was a day that no one was supposed to work at all. Those were the rules. Those in charge thought that Jesus had broken the law by helping this man on the Sabbath day. They were so focused on keeping the rules that they couldn't see how wonderful it was that this man who could not see now could. The people in charge asked the man to tell them what had happened. He told them, but they didn't believe him. They got mad and, and threw him out. Jesus found the man and asked him if he believed in the Son of God. The man said that if he saw him, he would believe. And Jesus told the man that it was him. The man believed and followed Jesus. Even though the people in charge didn't want to change, the man who used to be blind, his family, and everyone who saw what happened saw the truth. When we believe in him, Jesus changes how we see things. Guess what happened, friends? My dad came into my room while I was imagining my cleaning robot. He stepped on one of my toys. He tripped, he stumbled, and he stubbed his toe on the side of my bed. Ouch. Ouch. It was epic and not in a good way. I felt so bad. It sure helped me to see things differently. I realized that cleaning my room is important because people can get hurt if I don't. I love my dad, and I don't want to see him stub his toe like that again. Seeing what happened to my dad really changed the way I think about cleaning my room. Kind of like the gears on my imaginary goggles. And definitely like Jesus in our Bible story changed the way that man saw things. Jesus changes how we see things. You know what's cool about cleaning my room? I can listen to music and dance the robot while I do it. You want to join me? Awesome! Let's get robotic! today, friends. Remember, Jesus changes how we see things. See you next time. Bye. Whoa, wasn't that an amazing story? I mean, the man was blind and then he could see. That's a huge change. Jesus made his eyes brand new, and only Jesus can do something like that. 
Hey, brand new. Hmm. That reminds me of something. Our memory verse. Our memory verse talks about how God makes us new. Let's go practice it together. Oh, great job saying the verse, friends. That verse is such a good reminder how God makes us new. Even if we've made mistakes or done things we're not super proud of, God can help us change our hearts and walk in a new way, right? That's such good news. But you know what? I was thinking while you guys were practicing the verse, and I thought about how the blind man, he actually had two big changes in his life. Now you probably know the first one. Mm -hmm. His eyes were blind, but then they could see. That's a pretty big change. But you know what? He had a second change too. You see, after he got his sight, he decided to follow Jesus. In fact, his whole heart changed and his life turned into one for Jesus. That's a pretty big change. See, when God is a part of our life, it helps us change the way we see things. The blind man could tell that he didn't want to live for himself anymore. He wanted to live for Jesus who healed him and made him new. And we can decide to do that too. When we love God, it changes our hearts too. So we start to see things the way he does. We can start to see people the way he does as his loved and precious children. We can see the world the way he does as full of hope and good things that he created for us. And there's all kinds of things that our eyes can start to see. Now that's pretty exciting that, our, uh, that we can start to see things the way God does, just like the blind man did. How about we pray and thank God that we can see like him. Ready? Can you fold your hands and close your eyes? Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you that we can see things the way that you do. I thank you, God, that you change us from the inside out, that you didn't just change the blind man's eyes, but you changed his heart too, to make him want to follow you. I pray God that you would be at work in our hearts too, and that we would see things the way that you do. Thank you so much for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, thank you for hanging out with us today. I can't wait to see you back here next week for the last week of our Changing Gears theme. We'll see you then. Bye.